Hello and welcome to Love, Love for Chit, Chit Chat. Chat. Here in Love for Chit Chat, we debate topics from serious to outright silly. And today, what are we going to be debating? Uh, we're debating the old uh, debate topic, iOS versus Android. Nice. And today we have our debaters, Lewis and Joe. So, let's cut to the chit chat. So, Joe, introduce yourself. Thanks. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. The noise cancellation on this is pretty good. Uh, oh, I guess I'm Joe. Um, I'm fighting for the brave fight for Apple, the best iPhone company. I mean, phone company. <laughs> they are the best iPhone company. They're the only people that make them. Nice. And Lewis, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, I'm Lewis. I've been an Android user for all my life, other than for about three months where I had an iPhone, it broke, and I was sick of it. Sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> the debate's already getting heated, guys. Stay tuned. Um, so. Can you tell us which side, I mean you've already said what you're debating, yeah. right? So Android, iOS. Yeah. So little do you know that today on our show we actually have the devil's advocate, which means that you both will be debating the opposite side. God. Oh. No, no. Screw Android, I hate this. <laughs> they give their OSs random names based after sweets and things. I do not condone it. <laughs> Well, it is a test of your skills in debating, so let's see who's the best debater. So, let's go down the rules. We have a opening a section where you get to research whatever you need. So, you can use the 3D iPad, you can use your phone, and then you can see what you know about the other side. Then, you have an opening statement, after which you have an attack and a defense, after which you get to do three battles, where you get to uh, just attack their statement, whatever you want, just jump in and make it wide. And then you have to have a closing statement, convincing our beautiful audience on which one is the winning person. So, let's cut to the chitter chatter. All I can say is, good luck. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. So I've just got to get the mindset of an awful person and then I'll be very bad. Uh, I've just got to get into a mindset of just a person that spends all their time figuring out how their phone works instead of actually. That's on you. Them. That's on you if you can't figure it out, if I'm honest. It's, it's quite simple. So let me search up on my iPhone in two seconds and I can do this. I've got to keep paying. But I think I did use I'm thinking when I was a kid I was Apple person. Before yeah. I had a phone I was Apple. Yeah, sorry. See like, I think Apple is a dangerous uh, marketing message because people might think it's very I was gonna say, is that your joke? Because you said that joke. It's not my joke. <laughs> I don't know about that. If that's your point then you can't be <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Children use iPhones. So I think we've given you guys enough time to do uh, yeah. research and everything. Yeah. How are you guys feeling about this now? Um, I'm ready. I'm, 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 ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. I got this. I, got I feel nice. sort of bad for being all this Apple stuff now. Right? It's all no, I, can, I can see his writing upside down, and yeah, he's, yeah, got no, he's, made a oh, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. You literally got nothing. You've not written them. Yeah, but mine actually write. Yeah. Okay, oh, really. so I think it's time to hear the opening statements. Um, Lewis, do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. Right, simply. Apple, we're not just talking about a phone. You know, I'm talking, in terms of Android, they've got the phones and basically it's just Samsung. I know they've got other ones coming through, but you think of Android, you think phone. Apple, if we're talking about business as a whole and what's better, Apple doesn't just have the phone. It's got an iPad, it's got, you know, the Apple watches, it's got tablets and stuff, it's got your know, iPods for days. You know, have you tried using any sort of like Android sort of tablets? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, let's just let's not mess about. Awful. Right, okay, so Android is like seems like the antithesis of Apple in some ways. It they have an open source OS, which means so many different mobile manufacturers can tweak it in their own ways, which means 
yes, Apple might be easier to use for some people, but because Android has that customizability, people can go, oh, I want a phone that basically has no OS. Oh, that's built on Android. I want a phone that has loads of complicated features. That's built on Android. I want a cool camera. Samsung S22, currently the best camera in its price range. And it also has these nice little things like their OSs are called cute names like Jelly Bean, Donut, Honeycomb. Just so much more inviting than iOS 15 or 14. And that's like, it's mainly like about that openness that Android have rather than Apple's, you know, insistence on luxury. You said you don't know how to use an Android. Yeah, I don't know how to use Yeah, so probably it's not that much easier. The Samsung phones I don't know how to use. Google Pixel, beautiful. Nothing phone, easy. Okay, but if we're being honest, we're talking Samsung versus yeah. Apple. Well, we're not talking Android. Android is no a one big uses that. No one uses, yeah, but Android, get Google Pixel. My TV, my TV runs Android, and it works perfectly fine. I love it. Oh, That's yeah. Android TV. Oh, oh, yes. oh, actually. Exactly. Does that count as Android? Though? Apple TV sucks. Does that count as like as Android? As design? Android. Yeah. Or is it just made by the same company? Well. I don't know, um, I don't know the operating system for months. I reckon I'd say it's that's still Android, it's still the same operating system, it still has the same quirks. Okay, it's time for the uh, attack and defense. I see you're already getting at it. Yeah. So, let's see. So how do you feel right now? Um, I'm ready. I think he, I think he said all his points, if I'm honest, and yeah. I've, I've, got, I've got places, I, I've I've got places to go. I have a lot locked and loaded here. I, <laughs> You think I've used all my points? I have ammo for days. Good ones, I have a good veritable ones. rocket launcher of comments for you. Well, it's time to right now attack each other. Each uh, person gets to point out every single flaw in the other person's statement. You get three times where you can stop them and just rebuttal and defend yourself. Don't waste the amounts because you're gonna need it. So, get to the chit chat. I'm gonna start straight off on. Okay. I'm gonna start on the operating system sort of thing you were talking about. You're going all these cute little names like Jenny and stuff. That sounds annoying. Like, <laughs> if I'm getting an operating system, I want to know if it's better or not. You say that, but sometimes the iOSs can actually make your phones worse. Apple have admitted themselves that with each iOS update, some of the phone battery life gets worse. Yeah. Because oh. they, they cycle out their old phones. With Android, you don't have that problem. You have a choice. Whereas iOS, they keep making you try and upgrade, so you have to buy their new phones. Oh, evil company, don't go on, evil company. <laughs> they know what they're doing though, they got some great stuff. Yeah, and again, it's not just about the phone, you know, iPod stuff, back in the day. You know, I, in my entire life, I loved an iPod back in the day, you know. Like, that saved my child. I had an iPod, I didn't need a phone. I didn't get a phone until I was, like, probably about 12. Uh, I agree, I didn't need honestly, one. I had Pirates of the Caribbean so and Solitaire on an iPod. That's oh. all I needed, that's all I needed. Yeah. The whole point is that Apple is a luxury thing. You know, they're very different sort of things, you know. Yeah. Android, you get it because it's cheaper. You know, I know. You know, Apple, the whole point is, you know, people get it because it's expensive, it's nicer. You know, it gets the upgrades. Yes, sure, the camera's not as good for the quality, but the amount of times I've been with my mates, you know, they're going, oh, yeah, some take picture, some take picture. I get my phone, they go, no, no, not you. <laughs> Purely, I feel like I've been bullied because of my camera. Got on your Android phone? Yeah, it's not, it, no, they've got three cameras on there, plus a little touch thing. Does that phone still, still work? Helpful. Does that phone still work? Yeah. With the cracked screen? So, it works with a cracked screen. So you're saying it's more durable than an Apple phone? Okay, look at your phone. Yeah, your phone doesn't even have any cracks. So. Yeah. But no, the thing is, like, this whole durability <laughs> thing, it's sort of gone over the top. Like, people say, yeah, it's more durable. That's because these are people who just don't use cases. They've got no case and they drop and go, oh, the Apple Pro is so easy. Use a case. Uh, I understand that, but, you know, the, there's the same problem that with everything, you know? Uh, you can get a case, you can not get a case. With Android, you, you can get a phone that's more durable. With iPhone, there is not really an option of models. All the models are pretty much the same. You can't go, I want to get a durable phone, I want to get a slim phone, I want to get a phone that's for some reason folds out in horizontally or vertically. Oh, you don't that. have that in iPhone. Sounds. All that iPhones sounds. look like a brick. They all look like a block. If, if you want a protected phone, get a Nokia. You know, I mean, come on, phones are meant to be used for fun. You know, FaceTime, the iMessages, you know, Siri. Uh, oh, Siri! I'm oh, sorry, objection right here! Yeah, Siri like... sucks! Siri is awful! I... Have you tried using no, it? Yeah, Siri is awful. I don't know how it works. I've had this phone for about two years. I mean, I think it's a bit Actually, no, you want to test now. Like, you want to test now. Yeah. Siri, call my brother. Wow.
My brother's first name is Jack. I couldn't find that person. No, exactly. Perfect. Thank you very much. And for all the people watching, he is in fact saved in my contacts as Jack Straker with the nickname of my brother. I gave Siri all the information it needed and it still wouldn't no, call him. I can't even do that. No. Hey Bixby, hey Cortana, whatever. Nothing. It, it doesn't do anything. Um, <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna call someone, but I'm actually really scared it's actually gonna work. I'm not sure I understood that. I'm not surprised. Hey, I bad. can see they're both yeah, equally maybe it's, awful. Maybe it's just not great content. <laughs> but Siri used to be good. I swear, when? Whole... when? Back in the day. I don't know. What day? People what day? What's the day? My family use it constantly as cool people. And it's awful. Yeah. Like, you've got to do really weird pronunciations. You have With to Android, use it. But it's extra features. With Android, you can choose, because it's open source, you can choose to delete it. You can choose to make your own AI. So you can download Alexa onto it if you want. And Alexa actually works. No, who actually <laughs> does that? You're talking about this open source thing. I don't yeah. know a single Android person who's ever done any of this sort of editing. And no, I genuinely don't know what you're on about. Well, there are different, like, you can download different versions of the iOS. No different. Yeah, but who does that? Yeah. We're talking about for the majority. We're not talking about these really specific Whoa, whoa, ones. whoa. This debate's getting a bit heated here. <laughs> so, you both have raised really interesting points, but I think it's time to move to your closing statements. So, let's sum this up. Yeah. Well, you mentioned a broad range of people using devices. Android caters to everyone. The technical people, the non-technical people. The people they want a smartphone that only makes calls. It works for everyone, and it's mostly bug-free. I think um, it's just they make some beautiful phones, and they also make some bad phones. But it gives people the option. Optionality is the main reason. Yeah, look, I do respect that, and that is why I personally have an Android. But again, as I stated at the beginning, for me, if we're talking about, we're not just talking about phones. We're talking about the companies as a whole, and just Apple, the stuff Apple do. You know, they've even got a streaming service, Apple TV. They've got tablets, they've got the Apple Watches. You know, I don't really understand the appeal of it, but if you're talking about options, they've got way more stuff than any sort of Android stuff. Way more stuff. I can't, I'm not taking that. Have you used Apple TV? Yeah. It's great. Watch Ted Lasso. Okay, okay, okay. Apple Music? Oh. Exactly. That's what I thought. No Samsung Music. There is, um, there is, there is some music. Well, that debate definitely got me thinking, and I'm, I mean, I've always been an iOS lover myself, but maybe swaying me over here. But yeah, so now it's time for you, the audience at home, to have your say and see who actually convinced you. iOS and Apple or Android? Let's see. And thank you, as always, for watching Chit Chat.